Right, good evening people. My name is JR and I am the FR Gunner. I'm here with Naif. We've just been watching Brighton play Arsenal. Naif, let me ask you firstly, is that a point gained or a point lost? Considering the performance, I think it's a, it's a point game. The performance, yeah. are like I think we really did. Like compared to what we did like last week, I was like shocked, man. I'm really shocked at like how we performed today. I thought we would give it a lot more, a lot more heart. Technically, we weren't all there either. Our passing was astray. Um, the intensity, the pressing, everything was off. It was like we just. It was almost like Jekyll and Hyde. Like the yeah. Arsenal turned up at, at Emirates to this Arsenal was the one previous, and I'm just thought different be... bloke, completely yeah. different bloke. Yeah. So, 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 tell me then. You you were confident before the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a victory. Cool, cool. I thought we would probably like we would win this game, even though I'm mean, yeah. concede. I thought uh. we enough. We had enough going forward. I thought like we've turned a corner. I felt because what the, the, what we saw on uh, Sunday was amazing. But I thought uh. even if we didn't see a hundred percent, if we saw 70, 60, 50 percent of that, yeah. Enough, but obviously not. And I'm not taking anything away from Brian. But at the same time, the quality of players we've got on technical ability. Uh. I thought we were there, but certain like like players that I've always relied on, like Kieran Tierney today. I was like, "What are you doing?" Mm, mm, mm. Tommy was getting the run around. Um, we're, we're, we're we're gonna get into that. We're gonna <laughs> get into that. Um, I mean, for me personally, before the match, I was thinking it's definitely a match we can win. Mm. Um, however, you know, Brighton are on a a, a good run of form. Mm. You know, they. I think they were in sixth position before this match. If they'd won this, they would have gone up to second. They've been winning their games. You know, they've been mm. they've been playing well as well. I think mm. it's the same thing. What, what I saw today um, was a, a lack of clinical finishing from from Brighton. If I'm honest with you, but also before the match, I, I was concerned because obviously every time I see Neil, um, is it Neil Mopai? And mm. um, that French uh, French forward, mm. I have flashbacks of what he did to us um, when he scored in that last last minute, and Gunduzi obviously lost his head, etc. Mm. Um, and he's a tricky player as well, you know. Mm. He, he, he he's got it in, in him to get those last minute goals, etc. Or or just mm. be um, annoying, just be yeah. annoying up front. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I knew it would be a difficult match, but I, I'm I'm similar to you, to be quite honest. I went into that match um, thinking I was confident. I was buzzing after the North London derby. I was impressed mm. with the performance. Um, and we, we're going to touch on 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 reflecting back to North London derby and 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 looking at today's match. But in in terms of the lineup, when you saw it, was was there any concerns for you, or on, on was it smooth sailing? Were you happy with that starting lineup? Yeah, I was, I was like, this is what everyone probably would have done, would have played. Like, from my mm. There's no changes. Lukonga came in. He's probably the second one to come in out of those two, if you have Partey and Granite. Mm. So I had no problems with that. Yeah, everyone, Smith Rowe, Odegaard. I think it was just the same team that played the previous game. So I had no like qualms about it at all. Yeah. Do, do you think we miss um, Jacker in that um, in that? anchor role with Partey or do you feel that um Lokonga because before the match a lot of people were saying that you know before the North London derby a lot of people were saying Lokonga should start over Jaka. Mm -hmm. Um did you see anything in that match to make you think that or or not? Yeah you know what like I'm heavily critical and everyone knows me I'm heavily critical of Granite Shaka so for me like I don't know if we go off the the last performance yeah we mm -hmm. missed if we yeah. go give us the performance, we don't know what we're getting. He could have yeah, been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Better. But one thing I would say, he does have experience, you know, in mm. terms of like what to do with the ball, how to play. He, he fits in, he goes into holes and does his little thing, plays between the lines. So he changes things up. Yeah. And when you don't even realise it, um, he will do it. And he's got like good, decent range of passing too. I think with the Congo today, there was times where he, I think he was overwhelmed by what was around him and didn't really find his feet and his groove. And other yeah. day, found his groove was doing short, long passing, one touch, and he didn't really get into it. And so maybe we did miss him today, if I'm honest, but yeah, it's just one of those things. I think it's just like a roll of the dice on that one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. I think personally with Lokonga, what I've seen so far is that, you know, everyone's talking about the fact that he always um, passes the ball forward, which is obviously mm -hmm. a positive. The only thing I would say with his game, which I want to improve, is his um, transition of play. I find it kind of slow sometimes. I feel that it could it could be a bit faster. I've, I've seen like how in the North London derby, for example, in, in that um, for that second goal for Aubameyang, the way Jaka just kind of pushed that ball forward, you know, allowed it to go forward mm. so quickly. Even even I think Partey um, in it could have been a Norwich or the uh, Burnley match, just the, just the passing of the ball for um, quicker. I, that's the only thing I want Lukonga mm. to work on. And, and like you said, he, he made there's a bit of naivety. You know, mm. he is young. Um, so it, it's it's a difficult match, and and Brighton they're no mugs. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not saying that Lokonga wasn't. He's got a lot to learn, to be quite honest. You know, um, I didn't think it was the greatest performance, but I didn't think it was the worst performance. You know, I don't think he got overrun or anything. Um, so yeah, I think one player. Uh, tell me about Tomoyasu. Uh, what did you, how did you feel about his performance today? I mean, obviously he's been on a good run so far. Um, first couple of matches that he's had today, yeah. I kind of felt personally he had a bit of a mare. What, what, what's that? Um, what's that? Uh, former Barcelona player, oh, Corella, Co Co Corella, or yeah. whatever his name is, for um, Brighton mm. with, with the long hair. Cheese, bro, that guy was giving Tomoyasu a bit of a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. How did you feel though? Yeah, I think I agree with you. He was giving him a nightmare, and I thought, like, I hope he gets in the groove and starts putting it down the other way so that he has. Uh. But there wasn't a time, I think you only knew he had like a 10 minute spell when Tommy was getting down the wing. But um, yeah. yeah, I think Tommy's had a great start to the season. Like, I was saying that like, to in my forum chats, like, oh, he hasn't been dribbled past in like, like the three or four games he's played. Uh. And then someone sending me screenshots like, oh, look, he's got beaten already. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, sugar, I shouldn't have said anything at all. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think today was one of his, uh, not his best games, but I think it, no one played particularly well. There's definitely like one, two or three players that I can actually say played well. But yeah, yeah I, I ain't got hold nothing against him. Like, it was a difficult game, difficult conditions. The guy against him, the the left back, was running in riot. Like, he yeah. was putting balls in, he was, he was doing everything. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that's what I was expecting from KT down the wing, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 definitely. Um, I kind of felt that our whole, I mean, they we had the uh four two three one, they had the three five two. Mm. If I'm honest with you, I kind of felt um not just the defense was getting the likes of Tommy Asu was getting overrun, but I kind of felt that the midfield was really getting up. They were just pressing better than us. Um mm. they were get they were quicker to the ball. Mm. Um they were just more consistently on it. Um, I thought, like, first half, obviously, personally, it was a poor first half. Mm. We didn't re In the first minute, I think Saka had the opportunity, um, you know, but it's early, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna blame any. He, he, he got a shot on, on target. Mm. Um, but apart from that, we didn't really show nothing in that first half, if I'm honest with you. Mm. Um, I think yeah, it, was, it was all Brighton, to be quite honest. I think it was 61% possession to 39% possession. Mm. Um the one thing I would say is Brighton, um, I think they missed Basuma, but obviously they missed the striker up front, the likes of Danny Welbeck, you know, mm. um, because they had first half, I think they had eight shots um, mm. and they had none on target. Mm. So they weren't really offering, They there was no real threat. Um, how do you think our defence bared up today though? I think is there any positive to take from that? Yeah, there is positive to take from that. And I think they were overrun because in the Tottenham game, yeah, I can't mm. remember who Tottenham had in midfield. They had one holding midfielder and then two attackers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we run right. The Holberg. We, yeah, Holberg. And he was just getting like outplayed and mm. you know, cope with us. Mm. So therefore, the, the defence, our defence didn't really need much protection because we was winning in the midfield. Yeah, yeah. And even um, when we had Smith Rowe and Odegaard in midfield, these two obviously are offensive. They're not midfielders like Partey, like box to box or the yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they were leaving, they were occupy, they were leaving space in behind in like pockets. Mm. Adam Lalana was like just finding those and just opening us and tearing us apart. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not hard working. And like obviously they're great going forward. But I, I, for me, I was like, I put put Ainsley on instead of Odegaard. There was points where I just couldn't really like take it anymore of the press or anything like that. Yeah, so, no, go on. No, no, and that's yeah, that's my honest opinion. I think like today's defense was we were good. We can take positives from it. Mm. I think the battle in midfield. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and I think that's why Odegaard got taken off. To be quite honest, because mm. if to be fair to Odegaard, his past few matches, you know, he got the goal against Burnley, I thought mm. North London derby, he was, he was, a, he played great, you know, mm. but he, in terms of dropping off like today, I thought it was quite poor because he does have that defensive, um, that's why I, I rate him over Ozil because he can drop back and mm. he can, he can help with the defensive side of things. Mm. But today I kind of felt he, um, he didn't really offer much going forward or mm. dropping back. Their whole midfield, just their game plan, and fair play to them, they outrun us. I, I just kind of felt that they had no one to kind of be clinical. Um, it, it, I mean, Tomoyasu, I would say, yeah, had a poor performance today, not one of his best. I think Ramsdale was decent, not nothing great, to be quite honest. He had that um, situation in the first half where he dropped the ball. Mm. I will put it down to it being quite a, a wet night. You know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Mm. Um but yeah, there were there was there were some scary times. I thought Gabriel had a decent match today, though. I thought mm. he, you know, he he had to be strong in this match to be quite honest, because to be quite honest, they were peppering us mm. consistently. So we needed someone like him to be strong in 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 the defense. And to be fair, he he stood up to it. Um, if I'm honest with you, um, yeah, yeah. If I, I mean, let's 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 take a look at Aubameyang, though. Did he play today? Um, yeah, it was where do we start with that? Yeah, as I, I off the ball, like he's just not there. Like, if he gets the ball, even when he had, I think he had a two couple, even like from the start, first 10 minutes, balls, uh. big, yeah, to him, he doesn't. Uh. Really, I said, okay, you'll miss this one. Second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, not winning. Uh. Said, oh, this is not the guy that turned up last week. Yeah. And even when the ball was played to him on his chest, bounced mm. off. Didn't stick. Yeah. Played yeah. Chest, bounced off him. Yeah. Oh, there's no way we're going to actually put no attacks or counter attacks together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for me, he's just not, I just, I'm not saying I'm like done with him, but he, he's got to be alternatives. And when Lacazette came on, oh my gosh. We, we saw an, a bit of imp oh, improvement. Yeah. Fred mm. who was showing strength. I was like, you should have started. Yeah, yeah, no, for real. But the thing is, I was thinking about that. We're saying we you're saying he should have started, but after the North London derby, for Arteta to drop yeah. Aubameyang, it weren't going to happen really. Um, but my fear is, is that I kind of feel he's he, he's he's not the same guy no more. To be quite honest, like I don't know if we can go a whole season relying on Aubameyang to be our goal scorer. I think we've shored up things in the defense, and yeah, we had a few mishaps today in the defence but we dealt with things mm. but going forward like you said he's not an outlet you know mm. he, the ball does not stick to his feet he's not mm. that outlet that we need to kind of link up play mm. we saw like you said with Lacazette with Pepe coming on as well mm. things did kind of improve but let me ask you like in terms of obviously the North London derby we had a, get, a great performance mm. you know we we uh it was good performance and, and we won in North London derby mm. Do you think that we were able to play so well last week because it was the North London derby um, and we were playing our, our arch rivals or our North London rivals, so to speak? Um, do you think it was that or do you think it was the – or do you think that, you know, it's just um, – how can I put it? Do you do you think yeah? Do we do you think we rose to the occasion because it's the North London derby, or do you think it we we actually started to improve in our play? Um, yeah, from last week and you know and and for this week as well. Mm. Um, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to figure out if it was a case of it's North London derby and we and we and we improve things, or have we actually improved? What's your thoughts? I think it was uh, it was North London derby. Uh -huh. 
and Tottenham were bad. That's yeah. What, I think it's a mixture of the two. Yeah. Yeah, like we were we were up for it. We were really up for it. Like I, I thought that's what we were gonna bring today. And then Tottenham got their tactics wrong and personnel wrong. Yeah. Expose that. But no, do not take anything away from Arsenal. Some of the stuff I saw from Arsenal was incredible. Like yeah. why we were all so happy because we thought the performance level was what was missing. Yeah. Like, Burnley and Norwich won nil, but in this in those games we won, but we didn't play well. We won mm. well against Tottenham. So I think personally, I think it's a mixture of the two. Um, but I'm just I just don't know what to do going forward. Like what do we think now? Have we just was it just a one off? Yeah. Cash in the pan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's I kind of feel deflated to be quite honest, because like you said, like it's a great performance in the North London derby, but you know, we've then looked at probably maybe better opposition in in terms of Brighton, who are not. Let's be honest, like it's it's still Brighton, you know. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to them, but I expect to be beating Brighton, you know, or playing a lot better, you know. Um, and we didn't really show anything, and for me, that is quite wor worrying to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I expected a lot more from the team. And we didn't um, show much. Did, was, was there any positives for you? Um, the, I, if I go through the positives, we didn't concede. Yeah. Um, there were some good performances. Uh, like every time Saka and Smith Rowe got the ball, they were trying. Yeah. Forward. Those are the two players I would look at and say, yeah. And um, Partey was trying and he had glimpses of, of like quality at times. Mm. But then... I can't really draw on anything else other than Gabriel. Ramsdale had like a wicked save at the end, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that that was like a yeah, that saved us some <laughs> yeah, that saved us at the end. That one save there. But um I think obviously um if Brian could shoot, we would mm. have Yeah, yeah, facts. If they had a, a half decent striker, yeah, we probably would have lost. So if um, we got the next game like that, yeah. Lose. Yeah, no, facts, facts. Yeah, I, 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 your positives are correct. I mean, uh, for me, Emil Smith Rowe was probably one of our better players on the mm. pitch. Mm. I think he had that chance on the seventy-fifth minute where he had the shot. Yeah. Um, could he have laid that over to Saka? Was it Saka? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Saka would have got that to be quite honest. Yeah, it was a hard one, isn't it? At that end. Yeah. I think it was a point where he could have played it through or been clever. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but you had to play it then. Oh. Yeah, he knew. Yeah, and I, do you know what? To be fair to him, I like the fact that he's trying to score goals. We, I, that's one thing I want him to add to his game. So I can't knock him for actually trying, you know, because mm. if that had gone in, I'd have been saying something different. So, yeah, one person I don't really want to see shoot though is Partey. I kind of seriously like he needs to stop it, bro. <laughs> I don't even know why. Um, I think it was a free kick, um, yeah, in the first half, yeah. And I'm thinking, all right, Odegaard scored the free kick against Burnley the other day. So why is Party stepping up to take the free kick? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's unbelievable. Yeah, he did it a couple of times, didn't it? And, he, and I, don't know what, I don't get it. I think he I, hit a shot at, um, against Tottenham and the keeper saved it. But this, yeah. but all going wide. Even Lakonga broke and I was like, pass it. This yeah. Guy, oh. yeah, yeah, I saw that one. I, I'm, I... With, with Lukonga, I give him the benefit of the doubt because he's not always doing that. Mm. Party, <laughs> he's taking the mick now, bro. He's taking the mick now. Someone needs to say to him, do you know what, big man? <laughs> nah, don't do it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it alone. The shoot is not you, you know? You know what? Uh, but in in the Atletico, he was knocking those in. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a couple. But at Atletico as well, he weren't injured all the time. So there's a lot of things happening at Atletico that ain't happening right now. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, he, he needs to chill out with those shots, man. I, I'm not really feeling the shots. But, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, apart from that, there wasn't... Um, yeah, we did look better when Laka and Pepe came on. Mm. I kind of felt, you know, I like Laka, Saka and, and Smith Rowe. Um, like you said, the defence held solid as well. You know, we didn't concede. Um, we've conceded very few, you know, after that City match, I think we've conceded like one goal or something like that. Mm. So it, that that's definitely a positive um, to move forward with. Yeah, yeah. We've got we got to take advantage of that. I think the fact that when we don't concede, we need to be finishing 
better. And if we look at the negatives today, for me, Uber was poor in terms of it being an outlet. Mm. Um, definitely lost that midfield battle. Um, mm. They were better pressing than us. Um, mm. More urgency. Yeah. And that bloody party needs to stop shooting. So, yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't the best day. It wasn't the best day. But, you know, we move on to, um, I think we have the international break now. Yeah. Yeah. Next match is on the 18th against Crystal Palace. We're at home. Um, are you confident for a win for that match? Can we see something different? Vieira's coming home. Zaha likes to turn up. Mm. I don't even, I think I'm meant to go to that game, but I don't even know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, you say you're scared, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm not really on it. Um, <laughs> No, I would we're go. at home though, bro. We're at home though. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna probably go Villa. But um, if the only reason I'd be confident, and I, and I wouldn't know because if Arteta picks this team, but I would switch it up. I'd switch yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Terms, majorly, I put Lacquer in, and consider yeah. who like if Smith, if it's the Mill Smith role or Martin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, yeah. That, um, just because you got it now, um, and then. Martinelli doesn't get minutes. Like sooner or later, we get closer to African Cup of Nations. And he didn't play no matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This guy in the groove sooner or yeah. later. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's a 15 minute, 20 minute, put him in. I know yeah. Loads of games at European. But I don't even see him in um, the League Cup thing. Bro, Martinelli's like our Van der Beek. Yeah. Did I say it. Last he did play in the League Cup, I'm not mistaken, but yeah, 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 he did, yeah. But he still, did. like, yeah, he needs to get a few more minutes. Like, I, I want to see him getting more opportunities. To be quite honest, yeah. um, yeah, I think we can get the victory at Crystal Palace. I know, you know, Zaha does turn up, like he said, um, but I kind of feel we got the home advantage. Um, hopefully, I know Zaha's going to try and dive because he's he's a little diver from time to time. But hopefully he gets caught in what he's trying to do. And hopefully we're not naive. I think sometimes Gabriel can be kind of naive to people trying to, you know, um, trick the referee. So mm. he's got to be he's got to be clever mm. at that match. One final question. Um, ben White, did he look like the £50 million pound defender today? You know? I think he, he played all right. I wouldn't say yeah. better than Gabriel, but I think he played all right. Decent situations where I think the occasion got to him where he passed it out and he passed to a Brighton player or something, mm. bro. And then you're meant to be the guy that can pass, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You don't out. play for them, them big, yeah. You don't play for them no more, big I was man. Expecting, yeah, I was expecting, um, well, I'm expecting more passes from the back, like you know, what David Luiz would do, like come out, yeah, yeah, pass. yeah. But we had no that. outlets, he had no outlets to be quite honest. We had, he had nothing to play it to, you know, yeah. If I'm honest I, with you, yeah, I wouldn't really judge him right now on it. The 50 million thing, I think he's still young, and that price is a uh, potential price. I think that, yeah, is. yeah, yeah, I agree. He, he's still young because mm. if I was to look on that picture, I'd say Duff looks like the 50 million, yeah, player today, but Duff is a lot older, you know. So, I, I can definitely see the potential in Ben White. Obviously, sometimes it's hard going back to your old team as well, mm. you know. Um, so he had a decent performance, it was there's nothing negative that I could really pull upon to say yeah he had a really poor performance I think Tomiyasu was probably the poor player today in the defence and he, like you said KT as well wasn't mm. really wasn't one of his better matches um, and yeah. but we move forward man Crystal Palace yeah. next um, you know we've got opportunity to rectify things mm. get some points on the table I think we're in ninth position now um, so we're in the top half of the table that's another positive slowly moving up that table um so, yeah, we, 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 there's positives to look at. We, at the end of the day, I think if certain players had played if, from the past, we would have lost that match today with mm. the amount of pressure we were taking. Mm. So, um, yeah, we got to look at the positives and move on from there. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is it for? Is it four games I'm being? Is it four? Yeah, I think it's something like that. We, we had uh, Norwich, Burnley, North London derby. Depends if you include the... Um, and yeah. Brighton as well. And if you include the cup matches as well, you know. Yeah. Um, so no, I'll take that right now because we were bottom of the league. Not too long. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, um, nah, facts, facts. Yeah, Spanish. yeah, yeah. But and we're seeing, hmm? no, I'm saying that we're seeing in this league that to be fair, 
there's a lot of ups and downs. Like, you know, Man United today, they had Ronaldo on the pitch. Obviously, he came on. Mm. Um, you know, they the likes of Pogba, etc. Um, and they're drawing one one at home with Everton. Mm. So this is every match is a difficult match, you know. Mm, yeah, it's true. Because even um, I was watching the Chelsea game. Mm. One one until like I think eighty fourth minute or something. Okay, like that. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Chilwell's goal was wicked. The volley. Oof. Is it? Yeah. I've, I've taken out my fantasy as well. Just my luck. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Gave it a pen. Is it? Okay, yeah. so it kind of works. So yeah, yeah, that kind of works. So I buy it's, Yeah, it's, it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that. I'll work with it, though. I'll work with it. <laughs> I put a smile on my face. Listen, Nave, um, it's been a pleasure talking to you today, bro. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Um, yeah, nil-nil, draw, but we move forward. Um, hopefully, against Crystal Palace, we can get the victory. Um, but listen, guys, I want you to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about JR the FR Guna. Take care, people.